Patriots Terry Ray. Coach Ray, uh, congrats on the win this week, and uh, how are you today? Uh, thanks, guys. I'm doing well. Coach, it was a uh, good win for your team. Uh, your team put up some points uh, and pulled away in that victory over Governor Thomas Johnson. What did you take away from it? Uh, it was a good team win. Uh, our guys played very well. Uh, defensively, uh, we we played very well. Uh, we gave up a touchdown there in the fourth quarter. But offensively, we looked pretty good. We had a good balance between the pass and the run. I noticed uh, specifically on the defensive side, you guys start early with a few touchdowns on the defensive side of things. So just walk us through uh, those defensive scores. Uh, we had pick six, uh, uh, T.T. Terry Ray the third, uh stepped in front of a, a pass in, I think it was like 45-yard pick six. Um, we didn't – that was the only touchdown, but we did cause two turnovers inside the 20, which both led two scores. And overall, Coach uh, – uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> You're fine. Go ahead. Um it seems like the defense has been kind of the strength of the team through the first few weeks of the season. Uh, what has really stood out to you about your defense this year? Uh, they're doing whatever we're asking them to do. Uh, we ask them to do uh, assignments. They're they're following everything. And in the the motto this year on defense is whatever it takes. When our offense is struggling, the defense has to step up and help the offense out. And I know after the first game of the year, Coach Ray, you said uh, turnovers offensively were a big issue. And in this game, from what I read about it, it looked like that uh, kind of got solved other than TJ's only score of the game being a, uh, I believe, pick six or a scoop and score. But overall, how do you feel like uh, that situation with the numerous turnovers that you had in game one transitioned to game two uh we limited our turnovers we still had one turnover we had the uh michael tried to force something in down at the inside the five yard line i think he threw one pick uh but the defense turned around got a turnover right back uh i told the kids a million times this year we got to control the ball the ball's the most important thing to us if we can limit the turnovers and we can get takeaways it's always a good thing for us at the end of the football game Coach, your team heads to Brook this week. What are some things that you've seen from them so far? Uh, Brook's a young team. They graduated 22 seniors last year. Uh, their defense is, is pretty stout. They're, they like taking away anything deep from you. Uh, their offense, I think, is still trying to find its identity. I don't think they've scored a touchdown yet in one of their games. Uh, but they're a young team. You could tell that they're trying to put stuff together up there. Uh, I'm looking forward to going up there and seeing what Brooke has to offer. You just mentioned it. The offense for Brooke is yet to score, and we've said it here during the interview. The defense, it really seems like, is the strength of your team. I know easier said than done to pitch a shutout against them, but just, I guess, simply put, what's the team need to do to uh, get a win against Brooke at least? We – Defensively, we definitely need to uh, stop their run game. They like to run the football. Uh, if we can get them in the passive situations, hopefully that they don't look very comfortable in doing that. Uh, offensively, we got to take what they give us. Uh, we can't try to force stuff and move the ball downfield and get in the end zone. Uh, special teams wise, we need to keep doing what we're doing. We've been playing pretty special, uh, solid special teams. Um, hopefully, if we keep that good recipe and not turn the ball over, uh, we'll, we'll get a victory on Friday night. And like we said, uh, it seemed like you had some, de or you had some defensive scores to help out your offense. But um, to still put up, you know, thirty-four points on the board, what does that do for your team's confidence moving forward in terms of your ability to score it and put up points? Uh, our offense is getting confidence. Uh, they, especially after last Friday, we got a little bit more confident with Michael throwing the ball to the receivers. Our our offensive line did really well last week, picking up blitz game and stuff. Uh, our running game finally uh, just like took off last week. Uh, it just gives the boys confidence, and I tell them all the time that we should be able to score at any time, anywhere on the field. Trying to look back here at the uh, past few years for. Washington. I know it's only your second year as the 
head coach of this Patriots program, and it looks like the last time they uh, were able to stretch together multiple wins in a row was the year they went 5-5 five and five back in 2021-2022 season. You have the opportunity to do that uh, this week, making it two straight wins. So just how much would that be a boost to the program as well if you're able to get the win against Brooke? Well, uh, we, we said at the beginning of the year that we're going to take it one week at a time. Uh, I think this week we go up there and do what we're supposed to and play football the way the Patriots play football. Uh, and we can leave with a win. Uh, the two and one and the back to back wins is going to be a big thing for us. But you, you'll always hear me say it. You guys have heard me say it a hundred times. We're worried about Brooke this week, one and oh, and then we'll move on to the next week. All right, coach, we'll move on to our uh, fun question. Um, this week it is if you were to win the lottery, what would be your first purchase? Uh, I would uh, build an indoor facility here in a field house at Washington High School. All right. All right, Coach. Uh, good luck this week against Brooke, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. I appreciate it, guys. You have a great day. Coach Thank you, Terry Coach. Ray of the All right, bye. Washington Patriots and uh, on the other side of this break we'll hear our interview of coach Craig Hunter of the Jefferson Cougars this is the sports mix on talk radio WRNR and TV time our show brought to you by Brown Funeral Home and Cremations Robert Fields and Sons family owned full service funeral home proudly serving our area since 1880 this segment brought to you by Parsons Ford of Martinsburg at 1400 Shepherdstown Road and online at ParsonsFord.com. They became number one by making you number one first, Parsons. Yeah, I could have I would, but first of all, let me say I must have 